is actually a boost in my shit because this is a good stay. I've been back at Starbucks in five months. I haven't worked in five months because I've been studying a lot. So hopefully this is like writing a bicycle. And you know, it's not going to be too difficult, but I have a feeling there are some things that I'm going to definitely forget. You can hear the I'm also recording in the bathroom because I forgot to get my car. So great start. Let's go. Wait, before we get into the video, please comment any questions you have about Starbucks so that I can film a Q&A. It's a night shift, so you know what that means. Dishes, lots and lots of dishes. So part of the fun of the night shift is that a lot of us end up doing random tasks. Even though we have assigned positions, it's more about getting the things that need to get done, done before we close for the night. So I started off my shift doing dishes, which sounds boring, but I actually enjoy it a lot. My bosses are pretty nice, so they let me put on a podcast while I work, which makes the time fly by so much quicker. During the night shift, we have to wash a lot of dishes. We try to get everything out of the way as early as possible because there are some things we can't wash until the store is officially closed. And by then, we only have 30 minutes after the store closes to finish cleaning up for the night before we have to head home. So this is me trying to get caught up so that it's less of a pain later. Like I said, during the night shift, everyone ends up doing a little bit of everything, so I switched to bar. This is a white mocha, and it's time for my favorite part, which is adding whipped cream. It just makes the drink look 10 times prettier. Now this is an iced caramel macchiato with oat milk, so it gets the vanilla syrup on the bottom, add milk and ice, and then top it off with espresso shots and caramel drizzle. Which by the way, I may be a bit of a hillbilly, but it is caramel and not caramel. I may have just started a world war in the comments, but comment down below which way you pronounce it. And if you could read my mind. One of my coworkers is going to show their caramel drizzle art on an iced chai latte with vanilla sweet cream cold foam, and I'm still trying to perfect how they do this because it is so pretty. So the caramel kind of looks like this abstract flower. Now we're gonna make this mobile order for Audrey. She wants four pumps of caramel syrup, so we're gonna add it, and there's no easy way for me to film this. I need two hands to do it. And here I am again, struggling with one hand and making a big mess. Someone once told me that you're not a good barista if you don't make a huge mess, which I guess is a compliment. So I am cleaning up that mess. I'm making our new chocolate cold foam that smells exactly like a Wendy's chocolate frosty, but I will say salted foam is still my all-time favorite. Look at how pretty this is, oh my goodness. And welcome to Frappuccino Hour. Every single day that I work night shift in the summer, we always get a huge rush of just frappuccinos, and each car will order at least three frappuccinos. During my entire time that I've worked at Starbucks, it only happens in the night shift, which is super weird. And yeah, it can be a little draining doing the same frappuccinos over and over again, but they're just so pretty. Except for this one. This one's whipped cream is falling over. Out of all the drinks at Starbucks, I think that this one is the most satisfying to make. I love watching the sweet cream diffuse and blend in with the rest of the drink. Here is the second half of making a brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. I add the blonde espresso shots to the shaker that has the ice, cinnamon, and brown sugar syrup. Then I shake it up and top it with oat milk. 
This is the part where the Shake It Up theme song from Disney Channel starts playing. Here is just another one of those random tasks that need to get done. you saw me. Roommates think I've lost my mind. I kind of freaked out when you called me. And if I sound insane, I'm sorry. But I haven't slept three nights. Cause kissing you is like sipping coffee. Same with this one, I'm refilling the dragon fruit pieces and the strawberry pieces so that when we run out, we have another set ready to go. Yeah, that's what I told you. Now look at me, doing things I never do. Been over like a fool, yeah, yeah. Addicted to the way you move. I actually haven't recorded this part of the job yet, but here I am putting the food together. Showing up late to every party. You got me losing track of time. It's been a month of redefining. Now I I swear I hardly recognize me from the day I called you mine. You broke down the walls inside me Whoa. Before you knew me I was ripped jeans And cold feet scared to wear my heart on my sleeve Feeling so empty Yeah, that was the old me Now look at me Doing things I never do Tripping over like a fool Yeah, yeah Can't think of anything but you I'm breaking also, here is a clip of me struggling with this sandwich. I actually may or may not be deathly allergic to pine nuts and pesto, so I'm doing my best not to touch this when I put it in the bag. I still need to recover from another love Or would you be here for me? Never met your parents, not even your mother But let's see where this leads What should we do tonight? What if this breaks you? And here is one of our fallen soldiers that we had to throw away now I'm on my 30 minute break, so you know what that means. Homework time! I'm actually reading a play written by Nick Deere based off of Frankenstein for my theater class. Now back to work. Every two days we have to take down our pastry case by throwing away all the food and cleaning the dishes. We only use this food for display, we don't sell it, which is why it has to be thrown away. All of our other food that expires according to Starbucks standards, but usually it's pretty good for at least another week, we either give to our baristas or donate to a local homeless shelter. I've actually worked at several different Starbuckses, and I don't think every one of them donates their food. So this is one of the million reasons why I love working at my Starbucks right now. Now I am cleaning the glass inside our pastry case so that it's not foggy and disgusting looking. And this is a little difficult of a task because I literally have to stick my entire body and my entire head inside this pastry case just to clean it. I'm so 
so tired right now. And I'm still here for another 30 minutes. At the end of the day, we melt our ice. And we also have to empty the espresso beans from the hoppers. And trying not to spill everywhere, of course. For our decaf and blonde beans, we put them in Trenta cups and label them so that they can be added to the hopper the next morning. If you're not an experienced barista, you wouldn't know that there's actually like a visual difference between decaf, blonde, and regular espresso beans, but I label them just to be sure in case there's a new person in the morning who can't tell that difference just yet. The only thing I need also, here's a clip of my shift supervisor waving. The people that I work with are so supportive and the friendliest people you'll ever meet, which is something that I cannot say for all Starbucks that I've worked at, so I really appreciate them and them allowing me to make fun videos like this for you guys. I'm using this vacuum to help get rid of the excess beans and dust in the machines at the end of the night. All this and that's the end of the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. The only thing I need.